Evening everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Last break of the night on new release night is a four-box random team break of 2018. Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball random team break number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Break three that kills the case. So thank you very much, everybody. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. Let's double that up right there. And remember the combo team, uh, Tigers and Rays. And non-sport, non-baseball, and other. Let's roll the dice and randomize each list. Five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're talking about bottled water before we start this break. Fiji water is the best. Well, you don't. Yes, I am too cool for tap water, Curtis. It's L.A. Come on. There's eight times right there. Aquafina is tab water. Aquafina is pretty good. That would be my that be my second water choice. With added salt, does not have sodium in it. You're thinking of Dasani, although they took out the sodium in their water recently. Five into three, eight times for this category right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I think Aquafina is a. Uh, Pirates down to is an official sponsor of the Los Angeles. Do no, it wasn't. They actually changed it to some delicious Hawaiian water. All right, so that's eight times. We got eight there and eight here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, do, uh, I, do, I, I do drink a lot of bottled water. I'm pretty much an expert, Curtis. I've got a water blog where I, where, where I track bottled waters. All right, John H. with the Pirates. You also have the Blue Jays, Curtis with the Phillies, Scott McNulty, Padres, Jarrett K. Diamondbacks, Chris McKeague with the Mariners. Anthony, you've got the non-sport, non-baseball, or other spot. Just any rant, anything that is basically does not have a baseball team attached to it. John H. Nationals, Tim G. with the White Sox, Eric O., Rockies, Orioles, and Astros for Chris. Jerry, you got the Brew Crew. Anthony with the Red Sox. Chris with the Rangers. James O with the Royals. Tim with the Cardinals. Jarrett, you got the Dodgers. Got my Dodgers. Jerry with the Braves. Chris with the Marlins. John H. Reds. James O. Tigers and Rays. Combo spot. Eric O. Mets. Chris McKee with the Giants. Scott McNulty with the Angels. Nice. Eric O. with the A's. Michael G. with the Yankees. Eric O. with the Indians. Curtis with the Cubs. And Michael G. with the Twins. Curtis has Cubs and Phillies for trade. I also have a throat lozenge in my mouth, so I apologize if I sound like I'm talking with marbles in my mouth. Anyone trading? Eric has an A's for trade as well. But yeah, I am an H H2O expert, Curtis, I'd like to say. Um, Jose, how many times have they asked you about, or has the group asked me about the Machado trade today? Well, we had about a dozen people Tell me about the trade, as if, as if nobody wa as, as if we don't follow sports here, um, and then after that, another dozen times. But hey, it's it's a, it's a big deal. I, I like when people are talking baseball, people are talking big deals. I, I dig that. Who cats? Do, uh, do I remember what trading card had that unauthorized Paul Abdul picture in the background? I don't know. Does any, anyone else know? Bill Mosher, coconut water is gross, although it's. Apparently, additionally, it hydrates better, but I don't buy it. Twins for trade, A's for Phillies, A's for Twins, maybe. Otherwise, we're going to go. We don't have time. It's too late. It's late enough as it is. And these are the last four boxes of the case. So I'm glad we killed that case today, folks. Thanks. A's for Phillies? That'd be that that'd be an interesting trade, considering the Philadelphia uh, Philadelphia used to have the A's. This is our last break of the night, folks. Everything else that fills will be pushed till tomorrow on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more Ginter, we have more random teams. We're gonna have a, it's gonna be just as busy tomorrow, I feel like. So get into the action and let's hit the ground running tomorrow as well.
All right, trade window closed. Looks like no one's pulling the trigger on the trade, so let's print and let's rip. Oh, is that confirmed, Erico? So, Erico, you're down? Yes, Eric says. Okay, excellent. Sorry, sorry. I, need, I needed the second response. Okay, so now the Phillies go to Eric, and now the A's go to Curtis. We'll put a T next to it just to let people know that that was involved in a trade. So we'll see who draws first blood in that trade. I know. I tried to shut you down with trade window closed, but it wasn't. Now it's closed. <laughs> All right. Good luck, everybody. Break number three. Last four boxes of this particular case. There's everyone involved right here. There's the T for the trade. And good luck, everybody. There you go. Looking for those guys. We'll do all these uh, box toppers at the very end. All right. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for this late night film. I appreciate it. I told everybody, hey, if you guys, if you guys dig deep, I'll dig deep. We'll stay late. We'll break. And we are. So thank you. It's not cooperating. There we go. All right. Good luck, everyone. So far, we have seen a rip card, which was cool. The the winner of that card, the owner of that card, did not did not rip. So it'll remain a mystery as to what that's going to be. And yes, and yes, Manny Machado is a Dodger. I'm very excited about that. We were we were having a a nice discussion about that before we started this break. I think it does raise the bar for the Dodgers. Uh, yes, we the silver glossy hot box Michael G. We have seen. I think that was the just the previous random team break. And we got Cupid. And we all we got we got a Cupid relic card, which is pretty great. And that went to Curtis actually. Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow go straight to my lover's heart. You guys remember that? Remember that song? Um, I don't remember if that particular box had four hits. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's slide these around. So just in the interest of time, we're going to fly through is a little bit more quickly than usual. There is Parker Bridwell for the Angels. That'll be for Scott McNulty, not numbered on that one, but a start for Scott. 
vet base does not ship. This stuff will obviously go to the other spot. And the minis will double check the backs of those. There we go. We'll double check the backs of those before uh, moving on just to see if there's any hand numbering on the back. Bill Mosher is asking, can the Dodgers afford Kershaw, Machado, and Seager? Yes, they can. They'll be well under the luxury tax next year, so they can afford to pay that luxury tax if they need to. There'll be a lot of contracts off the books, double-digit salaries for like Rich Hill and some other guys. Two will be off the books. Justin Turner, Kenley Jansen are only around for a few more seasons. There's Kirsch. It's a piece of his jersey right there, speaking of Clayton Kershaw. Um, so yeah, so they can. And Seeger, I think, has has, arbit has three or four more years of arbitration. So it'll be a while before they have to think about paying Seeger. What happens with the home run cards? Those home run cards go to the team. It's just like a regular card. It goes to, the, it goes to whatever team. Marlins, in this case. Bomb Cyclone, that's terrifying. Corsica, what is it now? Italy? Yeah, it's, it's the thing in Italy. The thing in Italy, the island. And we've got Yachty, Yachty or Molina. That'll be for the Redbirds. That goes to St. Louis. Tim. Tim G with the cards. Some upheaval. Uphe upheaval? No, not upheaval. Upheaval in St. Louis. So who are the, they going to get as coach? Who's coaching right now? The Cardinals. I feel like I heard some rumors about about Joe Girardi going to St. Louis? That could be interesting. I don't remember what happened to that. All right, so there are your three hits right here. Let's double check the backs. All right, nothing there. Wait, who has player manager? What about Yachty? Yachty could do it, right? He's retiring, isn't he, at the end of the season? Just have him manage the team. Oh, you meant Yachty too, right? Oh, okay. I, 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 will, I will assume autocorrect screwed you on that one. Um, yeah, why not? Why not have Yachty do it? Hey, Curtis, I'm, I was just, just trying to look out for Bill. You don't have to, you don't have to throw shade at him like that. We all know that Yafo is not a word. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. What are your what are your expectations here? American League East. We're ha we're at the ceremonial halfway point of the season. 
The Yankees are four and a half behind uh, the Red Sox. Do the Yankees, can the Yankees catch up? Red Sox are playing hot baseball into the All-Star break. Does, is the momentum lost now? Or will they come out of the gates firing again in the second half? What do you think, Curtis? Cur C Calgary Curtis knows all about baseball. Bill saying Red Sox will win 110 games. That's a lot of games. All right. Next box, there's Squanto, where we learned about um, putting fish in the soil, ladies and gentlemen, for to add nitrogen to the soil to help crops. Um, Eric Go says, I hope they don't slow down because he'd want to see a Red Sox and Braves World Series. You meant Red Sox Dodgers, right, Eric Go? That's what you meant. Oh, man, Red Sox Dodgers is actually pretty crazy. I'd like to see Red Sox Braves. That, that'd actually be pretty good. There's Steve Simeone, a comedian. I don't think I've ever heard of this guy. Is he funny? Do people like him? Well, that'll go to the um, that other spot. Who is she? She's easy on the eyes. Oh, a golfer. San Diego State, oh, okay. I didn't know San Diego State had that kind of golfing program. I thought they were more of a baseball, football school, maybe a little bit of basketball. No, that is not the college I went to, ladies and gentlemen. I, I went to UC San Diego, which was, uh, which we don't even have a football team. We had a good Division Three women's soccer team, or Division Two, I think, by the time I... I had left, I think, somewhere, something like that. What did Rhodesia turn into? There's Adam Wainwright. There's Jacob deGrom. Pinstripe patch. Should the Mets, uh, should the Mets trade Jacob deGrom? I think his agent was saying his agent was saying not that we're demanding a trade not that we want to leave but if the Mets are not intending to are not intending to uh, seek an extension with son, with uh, Jacob deGrom not something great Jacob deGrom then maybe it would just be best to trade him Would they actually trade him, though? Mets season has certainly gone sideways since their nice start to the season this year. Curtis says, call up Tebow. Bill says, look up Paige Spir Spironic swimsuit issue. You want break credit for that tip? I'm capable of working a Google machine. Capable of working a Google machine pretty well, Bill. For the Nationals, mini autograph, Rowdy Reed. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper? Uh, that goes to John H. and the Nats. They should call up Tebow, actually, Curtis. They probably will. September call up, just to put butts in seats. All right, any numbered cards? I think you can tell by the front, but I, I always like to double check. All right, nope. They really don't have much to lose, Curtis. They might actually put more butts in seats by like mid-September when it's when the season's pretty much all over for them. 
Caleb Tebow. Help the uh, help the guys who have collected Tebow baseball autographs. That'll help them in the hobby. Imagine that. Imagine the Tebow hype. It'd be great. It'd be good for the hobby. All right, second to last box, folks. Oh yeah, um, yeah, the glow in the dark ones. I don't think we've seen one of those yet. I thought they were one per case. It's possible I might have, might have missed it. Our shipping team will see it though. Um, but and I and since I go through each one of those, I'm sure I would I would feel it. As I flip through those mini cards, uh, I don't remember what what Rowdy Rowdy Piper's uh, signature move was. I'm afraid my my knowledge on that does not go beyond the, the bare minimum, if that. The, the only only moves I remember, Curtis, in professional wrestling would be. Uh, Would be the Stone Cold Stunner, which I attempt to employ upon some uh, some friends of mine. Uh, I do also remember the um, not only the Stone Cold Stunner, but what, what did the Rock do? The Rock had the 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 People's Elbow, didn't he? Some sort of flying elbow from the from a corner. I think he had one of those. Almost broke one of my buddy's ribs. He said his his it hurt to breathe. I bruised his ribs. He said it hurt to hurt to breathe for like a week or two. Probably cracked a rib. Bruised it at least. Not painful enough to get it quite to uh quite to the hospital, but definitely was in pain for a little while. Kind of felt bad, but it was worth it for jumping off the edge of the couch. And landing a great, landing a great uh, people's elbow. It's Joey Votto. It's Kershaw. Fam, Tommy Fam. Hunter. Jason. Julio Urias, who's uh, starting to pitch to pitch to live hitters now. He should be should be back. And what do we got here? Out of twenty five, Rafael Devers. Nice. Twenty three out of twenty five, Rafael Devers mini autograph for Anthony and the Red Sox. Nice, Anthony. Curtis, did you just call me a jabroni? Like in a, like in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? There's Sean. Here's Robbie. Scherzer, Simeon, and then we've got King Felix. Man, I feel like uh I feel like he dropped off significantly. Cleveland they're going to win the AL Central, right? They've got to win the AL Central. Can't see them not winning that. Sorry, Twins fans. Although, if Twins make some moves, you know, second half of last season, they they had scored the most runs in baseball, I believe, which powered them to that strong finish last year. That could still happen. 
they get some starting pitching in order, Twins might be able to catch up. There's Arietta. Aaron Hicks, and Jonathan Scope. I don't know what Jonathan Scope's contract situation is, but is he still under arbitration? He might be. Might still be under team control. I guess the Orioles are going to start building around him. He's a, he's a good ball player. All right, let's take a look at the minis, and then we'll dive into the last box. All right, next one. Good luck, folks. Last random team box, break number three. We'll add more in the store, so we'll be able to do that manana. And we'll do all these uh, box toppers at the end, of course. All right, good luck, everybody. What about the Houston Astros? They're five games ahead of the Mariners. Mariners looking great this season. Oakland, too, actually. Angel has fallen off a lot. They're 14 games back of the Astros. So that you got to think that the wild card's coming out of the AL West and the AL East. So it could be Red Sox or Yankees, whoever wins that division. And then the second place team will get the wild card spot. And then Seattle... Oakland, maybe, could get that second wild card spot. I don't know if you want to see either of those teams in a one-game playoff. The Ichiro just quasi-retired recently, Curtis. Although, he, I think he's still semi-employed by Seattle. So, he was on the Marlins. I think the Marlins released him. They trade, they trade him back to... Traded him or picked, was picked up back in Seattle... And then he retired, but I think he still goes to just still shows up at the ballpark every day. Uh, pseudo manager role, maybe I don't know what's going on there actually. King D says Astros back to back. I don't know. I don't know if you heard King D, but Dodgers have a certain Manny Machado on their team. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Speaking of the National League, Philadelphia and Atlanta, Philly. The Phillies are half game ahead of the Braves. That should be a fight to the finish. Who wins that division? Now, if the Nationals continue to have a poor couple weeks, you know, trading deadlines in a couple weeks, if Nationals have a poor couple weeks, I wonder if they're going to move Bryce Harper. I don't know. I, I we'll Go back to Japan to play Ichiro. I don't know what his post baseball plans are actually. See, he's a he's a relatively private dude, so I don't think he has revealed too much in press conferences anyway about his post baseball plans. Exactly, Eric O saying the same thing. Do the Nationals trade Harper? It'll be crazy. All right, um, Cubs and Bre well Brewers. We're kind of dropping the ball. They lost six in a row going into the All-Star break. They're two and a half games back behind the Cubs. They could still come back. They might be able to win that NL Central. And then, of course, the Dodgers caught up to the Diamondbacks. I think they were down like 10 games at some point. And they caught up to the Diamondbacks. And um, now they're just a, they've got a slim half-game lead ahead of the Diamondbacks. And they've got guys coming healthy. They got a boost with Manny Machado. So we'll see how that ends up. I mean, I wonder, King D, if, if, if would it be another, could it be another Astros Dodgers World Series? I don't know. The Yankees look really good though. Red Sox look really good. There's Method Man. Some of you may be fond of his methods. And behind Reggie Jackson is Clint Frazier. Speaking of the Yankees, Clint Frazier, jersey. Nice mini jersey for the Yankees, Michael G. 
I think the Braves could win the East. I mean, the Phillies are playing playing great baseball, but I don't know. I just I feel like I just believe in the Braves more than I do the Phillies. Because I think I think the Braves, even though they're a surprise too, I think the Braves as an organization were like a year or two closer than the Phillies, right? I don't think the Phillies expected this kind of breakout for maybe another three seasons or something like that, two or three seasons. And I think the Braves maybe weren't really expecting them to, to play this well maybe until next season perhaps. So I think both teams are ahead of schedule. I guess it's a matter of who is who is for real. All right, yeah, Joe P. Nothing's next. This is the last break of the night. But yeah, we the folks did dig deep tonight. All right, there's Ian Happ, and there is wow, five out of ten. I think that's some sort of canvas right there. That's pretty cool. The card is made of canvas. Nice Josh Bell for the Pirates. That goes John H. Chris Bryant for the Cubs. Some sort of crazy promo there. Brian Anderson. Adrian Beltre. Strasburg. Cozumel. I'd like to go to Cozumel someday. The Babe. McMahon. That's what the old catching shin guards looked back then. Brutal. John Gray. Should we? Oh, no, we should be expecting one more thing? Maybe not. Oh, there it is. It's Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts Relic for the Red Sox. That'll go to Anthony. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Box toppers time. So thanks, everyone, for digging deep, filling up this break late. We made it happen. Appreciate it. No numbers on the minis. Let's check out what the box toppers have. And we'll post another uh, four-box random team break on Jaspi's Hobby, and we'll knock that out manana. We got the world champions, Jose Altuve. Nice, I like that old-school picture there. We haven't seen any special box hoppers, nothing autographed, nothing serial numbered or anything like that. Chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. We've got Aaron Judge, all rise, Aaron Judge, Yankees. So the Braves topper will go to Jerry. The uh, Aaron Judge will go to Michael G with the Yankees. That Astros one will go to Chris McKeague. And this will go to the non-sports spot, the other spot. It's Natural Wonders Antarctica. Looks beautiful. I'd like to go there someday too. Although there's really not that much to do, right? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for breaking late with us. We will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.